to the sixth phylum under kingdom Animalia which is phylum Arthropoda. Example given is Valanga species or common name we call as a grasshopper. So, uh, you need to describe the unique characteristic of Arthropoda which is a uh, specific dia adalah dia class insecta. Before this, actually in your syllabus, uh, we have six classes under phylum Arthropoda but uh, now uh, for the latter syllabus we only include uh, one classes but you don't need to remember the class just you need to remember the uh, scientific names of uh, grasshopper which is Valanga species okay uh, there are many unique characteristic for arthropods uh, we'll go one by one. So, the first one has hard and chitinous exoskeleton. Okay, uh, if you heard about chitin, can you recall any kingdom that related to chitin substance? Yes, which is kingdom fungi, which their cell wall made up of chitin. That's why kingdom fungi, they are the uh, animal-like character, okay, uh, which is cell wall made up of chitin. But for chitin in uh, phylum arthropods, we refer to their exoskeleton. Okay, bahagian luar dia lah. Uh, actually, so kalau kita uh, tengok pada grasshopper, uh, kita nampak dia punya luar tu adalah exoskeleton which is made up of chitin and a little bit hard. Okay, the structure. Uh, and then, uh, kenapa dia made up of chitin? Because uh, they want to prevent from dehydration. But mostly, um, arthropods, uh, dia ada fleshy tissues inside. Okay, outside dia, dia kena ada hard exoskeleton lah. Untuk prevent the fleshy tissues inside, uh, the animals become dehydrated. Uh, kalau kita bagi contoh lain untuk kamu lebih faham, uh, Another types, another examples under arthropods adalah crabs. Okay, ketam. So, ketam luar dia exoskeleton, inside dia ada dia punya fleshy tissues yang kita selalu makan lah. Okay, so kalau dia tidak ada exoskeleton, once the crab uh, crawling out from the marine ataupun sea water into the beach, pantai, uh, so kamu kalau tidak ada exoskeleton, dia akan dry up lah. Okay, and then the second one why they having heart and chitinous exoskeleton for muscle attachment uh, and then for protection of internal organ and also for shape and structural supports. So, can you imagine if a crab without their exoskeleton, so macam mana dia punya fleshy tissues uh, ataupun muscles inside tu diberi <laughs> uh, support okay, and protection. Okay, the second unique character of arthropods has pair and jointed appendages. Uh, kalau tak tahu apa itu uh, jointed appendages, uh, appendages, kita going down. Uh, so, kalau kita zoom in gambar spider ni, uh, iaitu dia punya jointed appendages. Okay, uh, so kalau spider dia ada berapa dia punya legs ataupun jointed appendages, uh, kalau dekat sini ada 8 in total so means that 4 pairs okay? uh, so itu antara contoh dia lah okay? kalau kita tengok pada valanga species uh, ada berapa dia punya jointed appendages ada 3 pairs so in total ada 6 ok uh, moving up again and then the pair and jointed appendages uh, make the body plan more efficient because specialized for variety of functions uh, such as allow easy and rapid movement uh, for flexibility during feeding and for defense. Uh, so penting lah uh, jointed appendages untuk uh, phylum arthropods. And then the next uh, unique character for arthropods is having cephalization. So, description dia dekat situ, well-developed sensory organ with compound and simple eyes. Uh, you can find it online what is compound and simple eye. And then, having sense of touch, smell, hearing, balancing and chemical receptor. 
this just extra information for you actually and then next unique character has well developed sensory organ to sense different environmental stimulus and then next has segmented body or we call the tak mata or metamerism okay so uh, having segmented body allow division or specialization of the body parts for a variety of function okay and then uh, tak mata ni is a division of body into a head thorax and abdomen okay kalau tak boleh visualize kita pergi kepada gambar yang bawah ni uh, so nampak tak grasshopper ni so dia ada tak mata segmentation dia ada head thorax dengan abdomen ok, sama lah macam human juga kita ada head, thorax uh, thoracic cavity ok, uh, and then bawah kita ada abdomen, but certain species of uh, uh, of arthropods, actually the head and thorax fuse together which the terms uh, we use is cephalothorax ok, so if the head and thorax fuse together so we call as a cephalothorax uh, for example adalah crabs okay ketam okay uh, untuk valanga species grasshopper dia bukan cephalothorax dia divided into head thorax and abdomen okay and then uh, segmented bodies internally and externally so luar pun segmented dalam body dia pun segmented ok moving on to the next unique characteristic of phylum arthropoda antagonistic striated muscle ok striated ni maksudnya muscle tu ada light and dark band ok ah, nanti kita akan belajar lebih lah uh, in the next uh, chapters uh, few next few chapters ok Ok, kenapa dia ada striated muscle for rapid movement to catch prey or to escape from uh, enemy. Ok, uh, and then has open circulatory system. So, means that the blood and the interstitial fluid buff the organs directly with oxygen. Uh, maksudnya apa? Uh, interstitial fluid ni adalah fluid around the cells. Ok. Uh, and then kalau blood, if we refer to human, blood uh, is a fluid that is uh, located inside blood vessels. So, untuk arthropods, uh, disebabkan dia ada open circulatory system, uh, blood dengan interstitial fluid dia join together. Uh, join together and then directly uh, buff the organs. So, organ dan tisu dalam badan arthropods ni, uh, dia directly uh, dibasahi, okay? dibasahi dengan blood dan interstitial fluid. Disebabkan bergabung dua fluid ni, kita panggil dia sebagai hemolim. Okay? Uh, hemolim. Uh, so, hemolim ni lah yang akan uh, dipam ke dalam cavity which is kita panggil sebagai hemosil. Okay? So, hemosil ni adalah cavity ataupun space where the organ and tissues are located. If we compare with a human, we have closed circulatory system. So, means that our blood is not mixed with our interstitial fluid. Okay, blood kita inside blood vessels. Interstitial fluid, uh, dia luar daripada blood vessels. So, tidak sama. So, uh, our organ actually is not our organ tissue is not directly buffed by the blood lah uh, that's why kita punya blood <laughs> nampak warna merah tapi untuk uh, arthropods uh, dia kalau kita let's say kita cut the arthropods into two uh, dia takkan keluar warna uh, merah ok uh, dia warna lain lah kalau kamu pernah dissect uh, valanga species ok ataupun grasshopper and then uh, arthropods undergo metamorphosis means that uh, dia ada banyak form life form okay, contohnya daripada egg uh, pergi ke larvae for example uh, and then jadi adult okay. uh, itu berbeza lah dari segi habitat okay. uh, 
and then undergo molting ataupun ecdysis maksudnya shedding of their exoskeleton okey kenapa dia mesti shed their exoskeleton means that they replace the old skeleton with the new skeleton uh, because they want to allow for growth or repassing loss appendages okey so macam valanga species um, specifically uh, they undergo molting ataupun ecdysis ni ataupun shedding of their exoskeleton about 5 times during their life cycle okay so masa dia tengah shedding dia punya exoskeleton tu dia akan getting bigger in size uh, by breathe in air okay daripada luar lah and then next uh, unique character reproduction uh, untuk arthropods kita dah mula separate sexes uh, which is uh, male male female is female and then uh, fertilization uh, happen inside body so internal fertilization why uh, to allow animal to breed in dry land okay so tidak ada external fertilization lah uh, untuk uh, arthropods and then next unique character have variety of mouth structure kenapa to enable consumption of various food type okay uh, sebab banyak lagi species under arthropods that we not covered in our syllabus so different species have different uh, mouth structure uh, due to consumption of different food type okay ada yang makan uh, tumbuhan saja okay uh, ada yang makan haiwan lain so dia punya mouth structure mestilah according to their uh, consumptions food type consumption and then uh, well developed or variety of respiratory organ for gases exchange so kita just focus pada valanga species dia guna uh, trachea okay uh, so kalau macam crabs dia guna gills okay kalau horseshoe crabs Belangkas kalau tak salah saya nama Malay dia ada uh, guna book gills okay uh, spiders guna book lungs so different lah from species okay and then for excretory system uh, untuk valanga species kita guna malphigian tubules which these tubules collect waste from the blood and reabsorb water so that only dry material material is excrete out okay and then main unique character for arthropods bilateral symmetry means that if you cut in one plane only you got a mirror image one plane only okay tak boleh banyak plane lah and then silomate means that dia ada body cavity uh, which is fully surrounded by mesoderm and then uh, has three germ layers uh, which is triploblasty okay uh, so yang ni lah structure uh, arthropod okay. uh, so boleh nampak eh yang ni simple eye yang ni compound eye tidak samalah dia punya function pun tidak sama ok if you want to know more you may find it yourself online ok and then divided into different segment or tak mata which is head thorax and then abdomen and then ini trachea dia lah untuk respiration Okay, I think that's all for arthropods. Thank you.